Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 7th. October 7th is the 280th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 281st in leap years with 85 days remaining to the end of the year. Currently, I like to scan what we're gonna be talking about on this day in history, see if there's anything interesting or unusual, an obscure word that we can explore for the word. And that in mind, I did find such a word in today's day in history. It's NASDAQ. <laughs> you might've heard that word before if you've ever watched or listened to the news, particularly the part where they talk about stocks and stock reports and whatnot as that. NASDAQ is an acronym and it stands for National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotation System. System is in parentheses, N-A-S-D-A-Q, NASDAQ. I've placed a link in the show notes if you're curious to learn more about NASDAQ. The Helsinki Stock Exchange was founded and opened for business on October 7th, 1912. Since then, it has ultimately been acquired by NASDAQ and is now known as NASDAQ Helsinki. October 7th, 1919 is the founding date of KLM, the Royal Dutch Airlines. It happens to be the oldest airline still operating under its original name. Good job, KLM. October 7th, 1933 is the date that Air France was inaugurated. Air France was formed by a merger of five French airlines. By golly, this is the birthday of Russian President Vladimir Putin, born October 7, 1952. On October 7, 1958, NASA renamed the U.S. Manned Space Flight Project, Project Mercury. The name Mercury, of course, was chosen from classical mythology, after the Roman god Mercury, that is a lowercase g that we're speaking of. Mercury was considered the god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves, and served as the guide of souls to the underworld. Sounds like a pretty busy fellow, Mercury. <laughs> I usually just think of communication as short trips when I think of Mercury. So it is interesting to me, at least, to learn of these other attributions. That's a little side trip, though, about Mercury. <laughs> Four men from the Palestine Liberation Front hijacked the MS Achille Lauro off the coast of Egypt on October 7, 1985. The Fox News Channel began broadcasting on October 7, 1996. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the show notes for a link to the This Day in History playlist. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. And I'll see you next time. Yikes. phone rang while I was recording, so it stopped recording. I think I got through KLM, but we'll read that one again and go from there. Let us fix that. Alrighty. There we go. I just got the pop-up that says my computer's head is full. I need to blow its nose. <laughs> I closed the thing that has my script in it. Somebody's honking their horn. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty ambitious project. Okay, just leave that part out. Not the first day, but the birthday. I guess the birthday is the first day. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> we might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's gonna go together or if it's even gonna make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not gonna go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. Now, that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>